So you want to create a certificate in Microsoft Word. Here's one I've made. The skills that I'm going to show you and the tools I'm going to show you will allow you to create any design of your making. We're going to start completely from scratch. We're not going to use any of the templates built in Word. So let's see how this can be achieved. So I've opened up Word and I want to create a blank document. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the orientation of the document to landscape. So to do that on the ribbon, I'm going to go to the layout tab, change the orientation to landscape. And then I'm going to put a border around the certificate. And to do that, I can go to design. And then over on the right here is page borders. Click on that. And in the art menu, you can scroll through these borders. A lot of them are terrible, but you go towards the bottom of the list. You'll find some that are quite good for certificates. I'm going to select this one here. And you can also change the color. So I'll say blue and the width. So I'll take this up to 15. Click on OK. Now you can also change the page color of your document. You can do that up here, page color. And then I'll go for a, like a light blue if I wanted it. But if I go to file, print, you can see that that light blue color doesn't carry through to the print. To get it to carry through to the print, what you have to do is change a setting in Word. You go to file, options, display, and you have to tick this option, print background colors and images. So now if I go to print, you can see it's printing that blue background. Might be useful if you're creating something like a PDF. For my certificate though, I'm not gonna have a page color, so I'll change that back to no color. Next thing I want is a rosette or a star in the background of the certificate. And I can do that by going to insert shapes. Down here, you'll see some stars. I'm gonna go for the 32 point star. And if you hold down shift, you'll create a perfect circle or perfect star. And I'm going to make sure it just fits within borders of my certificate. Continuing to hold down shift. And then I want to make sure it's perfectly aligned. Now to do that, still on the shape format tab, I go to align and I want to align to page. So I need to make sure that's ticked. And then I go align center, align middle. I'm going to get rid of the outline on the star, shape outline, no outline. And then I'm going to change the transparency setting for the star so it kind of fades into the background. So I go to shape fill, more fill colors. And here's the transparency option. So I'll take that up to about 90%. And that sits nicely in the background of my certificate. And I'll add another shape, insert shapes. I'm going to go for one of these ribbons. I'm going to draw this across the certificate. I'm going to make sure it's centered. And I can type into this ribbon, course completion. And I'm going to change the font to Dual Sans MT and increase the font size. I think I might take it up to 40. I think actually for the ribbon, I'm going to change the colors on the ribbon. I'm going to have a gradient on the ribbon. So if I select the ribbon again, shape format, shape fill, gradient, more gradients, gradient fill over here. And then I've got these stops I can play around with. And I think that creates quite a nice effect. Just adjust the position of these stops to control where the colors start to bleed into each other. I think I might also change the line color. This little option here you can expand and then you can change the color. I'll go for a light blue. I'm also going to show a rosette up here on the certificate. So to do that, I can go to insert icons, go to images here, type certificate. And there's my little rosette. If I tick that, click on insert. I'm going to go up to this layout options button and I'm going to choose behind text. 
then I'm going to resize it and then position it over here. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Right, now I need some text in my certificate. So to do that, you can use text boxes. So if we go to insert, text box, draw text box down at the bottom here. And then you can start drawing text boxes for the different bits of information you want to show on the certificate. So up here, I just type the company name, Blue Pecan Computer Training Limited. I'll format that, same font. Increase the font size and I'll change the color of the text. I'll just adjust the height of that text box. You can see I've got a border around it at the moment. I can take that border off by going to Shape Format tab, Shape Outline, No Outline. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the date. I'll insert another text box. And draw a text box here and I'll put in today's date and I can do similar things with the format change the font increase the font size we have a slightly different blue take the outline of the text box and you can see that both of these text boxes have a white background Take that off, select the text box, go to Shape Format, Shape Fill, No Fill. And then I can do the same here, Shape Fill, No Fill. And if you want to line these up, it should line up automatically, and kind of click into the place. But if you're having trouble lining things up, select one of the text boxes, hold down Shift, click on the other one, I'll select both. Then on the Shape Format tab, then go to Align, Align Selected Objects, and then Align, Align Left. And that will perfectly align those two text boxes. Now I need a text box for the participant's name. So Insert Text Box. And I'm going to span this across the width of the certificate. I don't want a fill color. I don't want an outline. And let's just type a name in, John Smith. I'd want that centered, so Home tab, centered. Now, if you want it vertically centered, you'll need this task pane on the right of your screen open. Now, if it's not open, just right click on your text box, Format Shape, then go to Text Options, then click on this button, Layout and Properties. And you can change the vertical alignment, I'm going to say middle. So I'm going to change the font for this and increase the font size. Maybe make the text box a little bit taller. Now I'm going to move this ribbon down a bit because I need some space for the name of the course. For this I'm going to insert some word art. So I'm going to go to insert word art, which is in the text group. And I'm going to go for this type of word art. I'll move this into place. So this course is the Excel Fundamentals course. And I'm going to make this text box as wide as the certificate. And I'll increase the font size, so home, increase the font size, a bit too much there. And I might move it up a tad. Now I'm just going to make this ribbon a little bit more compact. It's taking up a bit too much space here. And maybe I'm going to make it a little less wide. Now the trick here is to hold down control and adjust one side of the ribbon and you'll see that it will adjust both sides. Now down here I need an area where someone can sign the certificate. So I'm going to draw a little line. So insert shapes. I'm going to use this line shape. I'm going to draw the line shape in the middle here. Change its color to black. And then underneath that, I'm going to put a little text box with my name. So again, I'll take the fill off. 
on the line off. I'll just put my name in there. Just a type world trainer. And I'll just change the height of that little text box. The last thing I'm going to do is put a little logo in here for the company. So insert pictures, this device. And I'll navigate for that image. Appears up there. And I'll change the layout option to square. And then I can drag it down into place. Now, you may remember from the original certificate I showed you, I had these graphics on the side here. Now, if you want to include them, it's a really easy way of doing that. If you go to insert text box, you've got these sidebars here. They're not meant for what we're using them for, but they do work quite nicely. If I click on that one, can you see how it puts a sidebar on the left side of my document? Now, I wouldn't want the text box, so I'll select that option and then delete. And then I need to go to this Layout Options button, and I found selecting this option in front of text work quite well. And then what I can do is drag this into place you hold down shift you'll adjust the shape but keep the proportions of it you need to get it exactly the right size so it fits within your certificate i'm going to move my logo over a bit so it's not hidden by that and then what i could do is copy that paste it rotate it with this little handle at the top here and then drag that over to the other side of the certificate now I've also noticed that I need to bring this text over a little bit and the date so it lines up. And there we are. So I'm pretty happy with that certificate. Obviously you don't have to follow my design exactly. That's not the point of the video. It's just to show you the tools and techniques that you can use. That's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.